No, you didn't click on the wrong thumbnail. I'm here at Gamers Nexus HQ. It's more of a hub, really. Yes. But it's a lot of fun. I'm going to be putting a get together a server. There's going to be all kinds of content on the Gamers Nexus channel. So I thought we could kind of do like a uh, Wendell on tour unplugged. And also Steve from Gamers Nexus, which there's links below and all the stuff like that. But um, you do know uh, we don't have the, the deal with NVIDIA, so. Oh, really? Uh, hey, one second. Do I still get the check? No. Okay. Yeah, well. yeah, no. So for the humor deprived, humor impaired, for the humor impaired, uh, we were making fun of a thing that happened while we were here, which is like nobody gets paid for anything in the background in any videos. Like that we are aware of for for us certainly for GN no. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately that, that stuff started going on while you were here. So for like two or three hours the other night while Wendell was working on the server that I was supposed to sort of collaborate with, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what do I do with this story? Hey, crap so, happens. I know yeah. better than anybody. It's totally fine. <laughs> yeah, so we did a video that was uh, not at all outrageous and in no way ridiculous. So at this point, I'm sort of at the end of my trip, but I can sort of take a breather. We get the server set up. Everything's running at 10 gig. You got Docker containers. You've learned a lot. I've learned yes. a lot about your stuff. And like, this is a really impressive operation. Like all the stuff that's here and like all the stuff in the background. I think I think you've done like a tour of some of the stuff in the background, but. In a very limited fashion, yeah. There's so much cool stuff. Like That, you can tell me more about that than I can tell you. <laughs> it's a Sun Ultra Spark. Yeah, Three. so we have Three a few of those. We have a couple cool things. We've been slowly working through, we collected a bunch of viewer submission hardware a while ago, about a year ago when we moved in. Need to do some stuff with the broken CPUs. We have a lot of those, still need to get around to that, but we've been slowly working through some of the working hardware that was sent. We rebuilt an old system recently. This I want to do something with. I want to do something with this one back here, which, um, I do have the notes. The the people who sent these in sent us notes in most cases. I have all of them saved. It's an AT-ish. I mean, it's not really an exactly standard form factor, but eh. one of the things that's going to be really awful about your experience with this system is it doesn't have any SRAM. Like, there's there's places to solder SRAM on uh -huh. this, but... Is that what this is already? Yeah, yeah. so that would have been cache memory. Like, using this era of machine without cache is like using a modern machine without cache. Oh, uh, it's even the IBM 6x86. Yeah, this was a cost down machine. This machine is basically one step removed from garbage when it was new. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to the viewer who might have cared about this. <laughs> I do want to work with it at some point. But yeah, we have a lot of these like funny small heat sinks. So you're, gonna get a, you're gonna get a comment that's like, not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, we have a bunch of cool stuff. Um, I can show some of it, we have like, uh, some of these were sent out by AMD, you're probably familiar with. Some yeah. weren't, though. Some it's we acquired. The dual HBM. This one we got years ago. I don't remember. That's an NVIDIA chip, and NVIDIA GPU. We got it from their silicon failure analysis lab, which they unfortunately no longer allow tours of. They oh, used wow. to, and it was really cool. A lot of awesome equipment in there. They used to even do tours with, like, uh, school classes through there. But I guess when they got the new office, they cracked down on... Well, they did become a $40 billion company. Yes. It's not like a field trip anymore. Yeah, it's, like we can't, it's like they're at the leading edge. It's like, people might steal our secrets. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and of course, they do the whole NVIDIA thing of, of you know, well, it's a silicon failure analysis lab, so not much comes through here. We're not very busy. <laughs> but they did have some, some actually failed chips that were kind of cool. So we have those. We have, um, I don't know, I made this heat pipe in China. Nice. Yeah. Is it centered in everything? That one is, I think, centered, yes. Wow. We have footage of uh, how they fill it with the copper powder. They drop it all in from a big machine and shake it a lot. It looks legit. I mean, yeah. it's seriously legit. I could put it in a $5 cooler and it wouldn't be the same as every other heat pipe in that cooler. <laughs> I wouldn't put it in a high-end one, but... I can think of a lot of laptops you could rescue with this. Like, yeah. Like any of the new Apples. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen some problems with those. Um, we have... Uh, I don't know, there's like this MSI Lightning is a, so the Lightning was not special, but the 780 Ti Lightning specifically, they made a model for XOC where they relocated the memory VRM from uh, some of the parts from up here, like they've shuffled components around. 
to better accommodate LM2 bots. Now, I really look forward to acquiring the GTX 780 for this yeah. and flying out to see Lewis Rossman. That's going to be hel yeah. a hell of a video. I don't know if Lewis Rossman is going to take on the challenge of what is this, like a 2,000 pin BGA? Yeah, it doesn't look easy. <laughs> and also, I haven't talked to him before, so <laughs> it'd, it'd be a bit of an icebreaker, you know? Hey, I'm Steve. Uh, so... Can you spend a couple days on this? <laughs> well, I think a couple stacks of that NVIDIA cash, and he's just not going to care. Yeah, that's right. It's like, if, right. if I'm successful or not, you're OK with that? Yeah, it's like, here's some cash. And he's like, great. Yeah, yeah, that, <laughs> that and the Apple cash, all that Apple cash he gets. He doesn't like to talk about that. <laughs> so, so he's quite vocal What's against like that. What's the bug sculpture? That's uh, recycled electronics. Uh, like a local gift. artist kind of thing? Yeah, artist. So that's recycled electronics. I'm, I haven't actually looked too closely at the, the parts. Obviously, some of this is taking some liberties, but... It looks like part of a motherboard. Yeah, you can see, like, the PCIe. So there's a, yeah, PCIe by one right there. PCIe by eight or four or something. This is a blank X399 PCB. That might interest you. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, this is a lot of cool, a lot of cool stuff. That's from... MSI from their factory, and it's before they even you know clip the edges off of it. Oh yeah, a lot of people don't realize, but those little the little jaggies. This is so it'll go through the conveyor machine. Yeah. So they can do the hot air reflow, and everything's a standard size. Yeah, they have to go through after it and clean it up, clip stuff off. That's awesome. That's really good stuff. And then the tools. You got the tools everywhere. The thing yes. that impressed me the most is like in being here and watching a few videos go down and like looking at the other stuff. This is legit used constantly. Like yeah. We did the tear down of the palm top. And so it's like, you know, set decoration, blah, yeah. blah, blah. No, this is used constantly. That was my goal because it's got to go somewhere. And so it might as well be in the set. We do tear downs all the time. So it makes everything really quick and easy to get. And it's DIY. Yes. We. We used to mount this to the wall in my house, but moving to a, a commercial space, I didn't want to put more screws in the wall <laughs> than I had to. So, yeah, that's that's the solution there. It all comes from the fact that at the house we had a, I don't know, it was like a 13 by 10, 13 by 11 room or something to work out of. So there was no other option but to have every space be functional. And then it just carried over here. The other, the other thing I'm noticing about your office is that there's tons of flat workspace everywhere. Yes. And so like whenever we would tear into a new project, it was just, here's another workbench. Let's, yeah, here's a table. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Well, that's the biggest problem that I, again, had at the house was because the house, we had no space. It was sort of two and a quarter bedrooms to work out of, and every space had had a computer, we could only run two test benches at a time, plus a case bench and a cooler bench. And here we could do probably eight to 14, depending. Yeah, at the rate that you're growing, I don't think that it's gonna be long before you outgrow this space, but you've really efficiently laid everything out. There's a shelf for everything. And, and it's pretty, it's not just pretty functional. It's also get a little bit of, you know, feng shui. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's, it's pretty open in the set area. Yeah. It makes it nice. Again, like, I think everything comes out of Andrew dealt with it the most at the house from the camera angle of it, where it's, you think of all these lights, we had all of them minus maybe one or two, and crammed them into a, a small bedroom, eight foot tall ceiling, and we were just, like, you actually have to <laughs> dive through the light tripods. So, yeah, I, re I went a bit crazy with tables when I realized I could have them. And all the functionality, it's so, it's so awesome. And you get cool stuff like, you know, we can, couldn't really do Alan 2 that easily, yeah. Can do LN2 that easily at the But now house. it's... Yes. All the LN2 you, you could ever need. Better watch out. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Have you worked with LN2 at all? Not really. Oh, really? Okay. I'm kind of surprised about that. It's always a fun demo. I'll try and give Andrew an angle where he can see. Here we go. It'll evaporate right away. <laughs> so Alan is really fun. That's insane. Yeah, it instantly evaporates and then just comes up out of the carpet. <laughs> so you get the light and frost effect where you can pour it on your arms and stuff. And as long as it doesn't soak, it'll just evaporate. You've also got the uh, hard drive that died due to bullet failure. Yeah, common failure. <laughs> I'm not sure when they're going to fix that. 
waiting on uh, Seagate to you know really up their game on the Kevlar for their drives. Well, now I've heard that the Iron Wolf drives they've got a data recovery thing, so you don't have to be this angry. You can send it off to uh, Seagate, and should, they're going to help you fix it. You should send that to them. <laughs> we had a weird one-off drive failure. <laughs> can you help us recover the data? Our, our NAS fell down an elevator shaft <laughs> onto some bullets. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> There's so many little clever things. You got core memory on your wall. Oh yeah, which yeah. I'll cut in and B-roll later. Yeah, sure. Yeah, there's core memory over there. We have uh, tons of processor dies. Just yeah, and it's it's all from like battle-worn, like hardened stuff. It's not just you know decoration. It's yeah. stuff from like actual yeah, things really that used. have been done. Yeah, we have like some of. The, uh, oh, it's been moved in there, but yeah, we have silicon wafers and stuff. <laughs> this. Um, Socket is unfortunate, <laughs> but that was in our demo of too much thermal paste. Is it a thing? It is a legend. It's going to live on forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. There's um, I don't know if any of this interests you, but if you've not worked with LN2 stuff. Oh yeah, the LN2 GPUs. Yeah, you got an LN2 bench. Just well, I, no, this is water chilled water cooling. I guess. Yeah, it can be. Yep. LNT is quick for us to set up now, though. So, yeah. Uh, LN2 cool GPU. This is what it looks and like. And these things are st stupid heavy. The LN2 bots, it's a lot of copper in there, so really dense and heavy. And that's just a kingpin card. But, yeah, coat it with Vaseline. You know, get a torch, get a bunch of LN2, and pretty much good to go. <laughs> it's not going to be long before you're going to build your own LN2 recycler. Like, yeah. <laughs> Vince did it. Kingpin did it. And... He basically uses one tank on either side of the machine and uh, uses a, a sort of kind of dumb AI, but AI nonetheless, to tell when to release LN2 into the system. Nice. <laughs> That's yeah. how it should be. So this, is, this has been really awesome. You've been an incredibly gracious host. I have been anointed with the Gamers Nexus <laughs> mod map. That's right. <laughs> and to give you one of the fresh ones, yeah. It was a, it was a, it was a we, we couldn't roll the camera for the procedure, but yeah. you need to imagine the Queen's knighting ceremony. So it was like, it was rolled up, and so it was like either shoulder. That's yeah. what we were working with. Yeah, that's what we do. And then we also drew a uh, pentagram on the ground and summoned you, which you'll see in our separate video on our channel. It's cool. You could have just sent me an email, but you know, whatever. I'm, I'm cool. That's how we do. It here. That's how we do it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I didn't know that you traveled by telecom rack before today. It makes things a lot easier, really. Yeah. I mean, I would I would much prefer to just be a holographic projection because like sometimes <laughs> it's going to be bad with like I mean I'm going to get cancer from that or something. But <laughs> I'm traveling by telecom rack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know the transporter kills you every time it sends you somewhere. Yeah. I've you seen might that. end up as two Rikers, and we I've, don't want that. I've seen that curse gets that. It keeps me awake at night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's been a quick look at the Gamers Nexus set. I had a blast. There's tons of videos on the Canon Cat. It's an old yeah. machine and some of my old handheld stuff. I don't know. It was fun to. It was so, sort of fun to share the technology, and it was fun to, to help you build a server. So yes. And the most important thing is, you are you know more about how stuff works. So. You don't have to depend on me, because like I think we, we You're watched. Like, the most important thing is that you can leave me the hell alone. <laughs> well, okay, that's one context. But uh, you know, when we were talking, it was like some of the other videos that we saw was like, oh, I just want it to work. Like I don't, I want to buy an appliance, and it's like, no, come on. Like, yeah, it's worth your time to like learn to do stuff. And I, yeah. think, I think we were both disappointed in that. Yeah, it's definitely worth the time to learn it. And the biggest challenge is maintenance, making sure that. It's put together in a way that maintenance is is not a matter of rebuilding it every time you need to change something. Yeah, and I think you set it up pretty well for that. So yeah, hopefully it won't just turn into uh, a monster that's constantly demanding that you feed it dry. Yeah, but. I think we should be good because we set up. It's, I guess preview for the other video, but set up the VM so we can run compression on it live, run A roll deletion on it live. Yeah, it'll last a long time. And it should have plenty of options for adding more VMs, changing your workload, mixing it up, whatever you want to do. So it's been awesome. Hopefully, we can do another collaboration again in the future. Yes, definitely. Thank Thanks for Absolutely. having me. Steve, Gamers Nexus, there's a link in the description. I mean, you already know. Like, if you're watching this video, you're probably already subscribed anyway, but there's a video. Yeah, they know us uh, from the NVIDIA boxes. Yeah, well, that's, that's that kind of notoriety. We want to sort of. <laughs> oh, I'm still learning that part. <laughs> Is that part of the PR training book? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Gamers Nexus, they're <laughs> legit. It's insane. The data collection. Oh, the data collection. All right. It's no wonder you're short, short on hard drives. Literally everything yeah. is dumping a spreadsheet's worth of data every second. It's yeah, no wonder you're out basically. Of space.
Pretty much. All right. See you later. <laughs> see ya.